So guys, I got one of those cool little pizza ovens. It fits right on my counter. Perfect. We're gonna start by just heating this thing up. Bottom and top go to 800 degrees. You can see I've used it a few times. That stone is kind of seasoned. Guys, I'm not here to sell this thing though. I'm here to make pizza, so let's get started. There's my dough. I'll be honest, I didn't make this dough. I bought this uh, dough balls locally. So I'm gonna start by just kind of stretching it out. I let this dough sit out for the last couple hours. So we're just gonna slowly stretch it and work with it. I don't have to get it real big. This only makes about a 10 inch pizza. So we get it stretched out a little bit and I'm gonna start adding my sauce. Now this first pizza is for my daughter. This is the way she requested it. So I'm gonna do this exactly per her. So we're gonna start with a little bit of a sauce goes down. Next we're gonna go down with our cheese blend. I cut it into cubes, it's just mozzarella. I like to cut it into cubes. It's real easy to work with that way. Then she wanted some red onions. She likes her veggies. So she wanted some red onions on there and she wanted some bell peppers on there as well. So we got those going. That's a good start. Next is pepperoni. I got that diced also, just like that cheese. Little cubes of pepperoni. And then we have some crumbled Italian sausage. That's the perfect two meats, pepperoni and sausage. She wanted a few fresh tomatoes. And that's it. Now guys, I got another cool little toy. First off, you can see this is up about 700 degrees, just about ready. But I got one of these cool sliding pizza paddles. It actually works really well. I'm not here to sell that thing either. I just buy these things because I think they look like fun to use and actually they are. So the pizza goes in, seriously gonna cook about four minutes. There's a cool window on top so I can like look at it and see it cook. That looks perfect. Look at that guys, that's ready. That took about four and a half to five minutes. That's all, it's super crispity crunchy. We just cut that up and now of course she's gonna pay the pizza tax. I'm gonna pass this off to her, but I get to try it. Man, it's delicious. That crust is actually really good. It has a lot to do with the way it cooks on that stone. The ingredients are all fresh. Yeah, that's nice. Let's make the next one. Now this is for my other daughter. She requested something a little bit lighter just to start. She wants her sauce on there. And then we're gonna go down with the fresh mozzarella this time. And she doesn't want a whole lot. I'm just gonna tear off a little chunk and we're gonna throw just a few pieces because when she's done with this, she's gonna add some more cheese at the end. She's gonna add some fresh burrata. So we're gonna get this down, just tear up those pieces of fresh mozzarella. And that's perfect, a little bit of basil. This thing's ready to go in the pizza oven. I get my cool slide paddle. Slide, slide, slippity slide. There we go, right on the stone. Seriously, four minutes later, it has a cool little swirl maneuver there. You don't even have to open it up. You can spin it around. That pizza's ready. Now I'm gonna have her come in and finish it. She's gonna start with a little bit more fresh basil. And I tell you what, there's nothing wrong with fresh basil. There's that burrata I was talking about. So I'm letting her do it. It's her thing. She's just going to break that up, throw a few pieces around. I like her style. I like where she's going with this. Little drizzle of olive oil, little drizzle of a balsamic reduction. Guys, she's got some crushed uh, oregano and some chili flakes. Look at that. She definitely knows what's going on here. Guys, it's like a burrata margarita. That just looks really good. So I'm gonna cut it for her. We'll throw it down on a plate. And of course, we're gonna tax this pizza as well. Are you gonna come and yeah, thing? trust me, it's good. Guys, now we're gonna make mine. I'm starting with a little bit of olive oil. Mine's gonna be simple. We're just gonna go down with that cheese. And I got my oil and I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, dried oregano. That's it. This thing's gonna go into that oven. This also is only gonna cook for about four or five minutes. It's so cool how quick it goes. That stone cooking on the bottom and the heat from the top. Look at that, that's perfect. Now guys, I'm finishing mine completely different. I went to the deli and I got some mortadella. So we're gonna throw the mortadella on there and then I have my own piece of burrata. I'm gonna break that up. It's gonna go right on my mortadella. I'll just use a knife. I'm gonna spread it around a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of move it around, get it somewhat even, best you can. That looks pretty good. 
I'm going to throw on some baby arugula. Guys, we're almost done. A little bit of olive oil. Keep this nice and wet. And i got to have my fresh cracked black pepper. I'm also going to sprinkle this with a little bit of sea salt. And guys, we're going to finish with that balsamic reduction. That's it. Just fold that thing in half. Give it a little cut. Look at that, man. Just get in there and enjoy. This was hands down the best one I made all night. This was just delicious. I, I can't even explain how good it was. The cheesy, crusty pizza for the bread and that fatty mortadella. Oh. Winner. That is so good. Guys, pizza night was a success. What a treat. Thanks for watching. Cheers, everyone.